Hey everybody, it's Donnie from Adex, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Club Mill. We're going to do some, a little bit of a fancy move here. If you followed the side swing and the side cast, we're going to put those two exercises together with a little bit more of another, another movement into there to build up to the, to the Club Mill. So, this is one of the, the flashier movements that, that looks great and it really impresses your friends because they're like, wow, you look like, you know, like you're flashing swords around or something like that. But, um, you know, it's a great exercise to learn and it, it really shows off your skill that you're developing, you know, where, you're, where your club is swinging in space. So, to develop uh, a good motion pattern, you can start to get an idea with knuckles outward. This is my right hand with my knuckles out. Swing your, swing your hand downward and out to the side to come up this way. Notice my palm is facing towards me. My knuckles are facing backwards now. So I'm swinging down, rotating my hand, and coming up this way. Then the second part of the move is going to be crossing the elbow in front of the body. So now I'm getting a little trunk rotation in there. So now we're getting the core involved. So swing it down, outward to the side, elbow pointing to the right, cross your elbow over to the left and bring it around. Just like you were throwing a ball, it is the same thing as if you were throwing a football, not just pumping it, but if you took it and threw it like you were, but not letting go of the ball. You practiced the throw and brought it around and brought it up behind your ear again. This is exactly what it is. And that's a little more easy to understand for a lot of people. So anyway, we're going to start off with the side swing. And we're going to bring it up this way. So that's, that's the, the side cast or the shoulder cast movement that you practiced from the previous video. You're going to turn that elbow and bring the club down this way. Like you're cracking a whip or throwing a ball. Very simple. Behind the head, in front of the head. The elbow guides it for what plane that it's on, if it's behind your head or in front of your head. Now watch from the back. The swing with the elbow creates a little wag in the club. And this is important to keep momentum going as the club gets heavier and heavier as you progress with this exercise. Now check this out. And we're going to go. Right here. When the elbow crosses, see that wag? That is what is important when the club weight starts going up. So, you're going to bring it around, elbow out, cross the elbow, create the wag, and bring it over. As with all club work exercises, keep your shoulders square, your body tall. You don't want to be hunched over. You don't want to be pulled in. If you're hunching over, you got too much weight on that club. And, you know, it sounds like 10 or 15 or 20 pounds isn't that much weight. When it's in a club, when it's on a club, when, it, when you've got a 15-pound club, 15-pound club is a serious training tool. And uh, I train with clubs, I know. So, again, let's practice that movement. Outside swing. Bring the club behind the back, cross the elbow, and in front of the body. Just like you're cracking a whip or you're throwing a ball that has an endless supply off of a table in front of you. Pick up the ball and throw it. Pick up the ball and throw it. Just like that. See you next time.